Welcome back. This Sunday marks the 10th annual International Day of Charity. It was established with the objective of inspiring and mobilizing people to help others through volunteer and philanthropic activities. So we thought we would profile a few local people who are doing just that. Please welcome to the show. We have J.R. Zubak, who is from the Boys and Girls Clubs of West San Gabriel Valley and Eastside. Good morning to you, J.R. Ashley Sanchez, who is with Alta Med Foundation. Good morning. And Shelly Haas, who is the president and CEO of Orange County Community Foundation. What a delight to have all of you with us. Uh, and, and maybe let's just talk to each of you about the works that you're doing. Let's start with you, Ashley. Alta Med focuses on health care for folks that are really struggling to, to make ends meet in that realm. Yes, um, Michaela, and good morning to everyone. Um, Ultimate Health Services, if you're not familiar, is one of the nation's largest health centers, and we serve more than 300,000 people in clinic locations throughout Los Angeles and Orange Counties, regardless of their ability to pay. We provide primary care, dentistry, pediatrics, um, and senior health care programs, and so much more. We know how much health care costs can really just put a family behind and, and we don't want to, you know, further fuel that, ex, you know, pushing them towards homelessness and, and that's one of the costs that can really break a family's budget. Uh, all right, let's move to Shelley. Uh, we're very familiar with Orange County Community Foundation. We've had folks from your organization on with us before. Why don't you give people the elevator pitch about the work you do? Well, I think the best way to describe it is the Community Foundation is a philanthropic matchmaker. We oh. um, work with folks who have a passion to make a difference and want help in identifying the best charities that meet their goals, their objectives, mm. their dreams, the impact they want to make. So we're the person who connects um, uh, donors to uh, organizations like my uh, companions here on the panel, whether their interests are here locally in Orange County, across the nation, or around the world. I love that. What a great idea. The Umbrella Foundation. Now, if only I knew about the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, JR, actually, for those that don't know, I sit on the board of the Long Beach Boys and Girls, Girls Club, and we have some of the kids on now and then as part of our panel. But for those that maybe live under a rock and don't know about the terrific work the Boys and Girls Clubs do across the, the, the area and across the states, tell us, give us your, your five-second five uh, definition of your work. Well, we are w one of the largest after-school providers here in LA County. We have uh, 150,000 kids that we're serving here in LA County with over 20 clubhouses in in uh, the communities uh, that, that need us most as well as in public housing. Um, and we, we do whatever it takes. We are that after school provider that is providing all the wraparound services coming out of this pandemic. For all of you, the needs have been great, right? You live, we live in an area where there are vast amount of people with uh, various disparities of income levels and realities, financial realities. But I can imagine 2020 caused all of y'all to work even harder to serve your communities. Ashley, uh, and particularly when it comes to health care, talk to me about some of the challenges you faced you face last year and in, in the, since the pandemic began. Yes, well, as my colleagues here know, philanthropy in 2020 was really, really difficult. Grim. But for us at Ultimate, we, we still have always and still believe that everyone should have access to health care when and where they need it. So health care has always been an important aspect of everyone's life, but the COVID-19 pandemic really put it at the forefront. So Ultimate was among the first in LA County to open drive through COVID-19 testing sites to anyone who needed it, especially our essential workers mm. who couldn't work from home. Yeah. And uh, in addition to that, every week we put together uh, around 500 grocery kits to deliver to our most vulnerable patients, which were our uh, senior population. And now we continue to provide COVID-19 vaccines in the underserved communities wow. that have been uh, disproportionately impacted by the virus. At, at, um, at Ultimed, we know that there are many factors that determine health and sure. wellness, and that's why our foundation funds these programs to help break the cycle of poverty, as you mentioned earlier, Michaela. I love that. And then, of course, for the Boys and Girls Club, when you talk about those essential workers, a lot of their kids are in the programs uh, of Boys and Girls Club, and they have you have been so important during the pandemic. Kids having to do distance learning, disconnected from classmates, disconnected from the clubs. Y'all had to double down your efforts to keep them engaged and feeling a part of something. Yeah, I, I would say it was, it was the most challenging effort that we've ever done in the sense of just responding to the high level of 
the social emotional health of our, our young our young kids are the, the you know the food insecurity the call out for help when it comes to responding to their needs and the the, the challenge that we, we've never really thought that we would be tackling is this whole social emotional learning yeah. uh, social emotional learning as it relates to the just a trauma informed approach as the mm -hmm. kids return um, it, that that is where we are we feel like we are making the, a big difference in being able to respond to the high level of anxiety and yeah. stress and depression that these young people are suffering from. Response is kind of the magic word that le leads us to you, Shelley, because that's where a foundation like yours can sort of help in that respect. But I can imagine it felt like you were spinning plates at the foundation during the pandemic. Yeah. How do we help all these people? There's a drip here, there's a leak here. Uh, where do we start? Right. Uh, one of the very first calls I got was from a, a colleague um, who said about the first week that the pandemic was really hitting here locally. And the call I got was, well, what are you guys planning to do about this? <laughs> so I love that we're Fix thought it. of as a go-to resource. <laughs> and we did, uh, within a week, we stood up a community resilience fund in partnership with many local foundations and donors and began mobilizing within six weeks, $4 million in funding for the Orange County community that went to the needs that my colleagues have been referencing. Uh, frontline health care, helping people access um, clinic resources, food, um, emergency rent assistance so people didn't lose their housing. And that assistance went on throughout the year. And that's one of the roles that we play for donors who have funds with OCCF and who can mobilize those resources they've contributed for a moment, just such as this, or folks that join together in the moment of this kind of tremendous need and the fact that we are at the intersection of people who want to make a difference and the needs of our community is just exactly where we want to be. Not easy I days. Not easy days. It was Look, not easy days for any of you, but I know you're in it for the right reasons to be of service to others. We decided we wanted to introduce all of you to just three organizations. Look, we know there are thousands in our area, but we wanted to give you just a little overview of three that could use your help and support AltaMed Foundation, Orange County Community Foundation, and of course the Boys and Girls Clubs all over the area. JR, Ashley, Shelley, bless all of you for the work you're doing and the organizations you represent. You. Keep on doing it. We need you now more than ever. Thank you. Thanks, Michaela. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so Michaela. much, Michaela. And if you want to support, make sure you do. Hopefully you got a screenshot of some of their web addresses. Uh, we'll be right